If they never hated me before You gon' hate me now See Now it goes back to what I was saying with the um the Sikkim dogs a few yeah. weeks ago. We were talking about how the covering of a Jerry Jones, the covering of a Brett Favre is yeah. always done by members of black media, by black people in media yeah. who were pushed out to do that. So now we get into the hypocrisy. Yeah. Because LeBron James came out uh, <laughs> and he said, Hey, you know, before y'all ask me about the game, bro, mm -hmm. I want y'all, I want to know why none of y'all have asked me about the Jerry Jones photo. Mm -hmm. And one cat was getting ready to come in. He's like, hold on, hold on. He was basically saying, yeah. I'm going to do the talking. I'm not even asking you this question so you can ask me about it. Mm -hmm. I'm asking the question just like, like, what's up? Yeah. You know, rhetorical, like, what's up? Yeah, yeah. But that's the hypocrisy. Now, LeBron... I hope was like doing this in a sarcastic manner, in a manner to just expose, you know, because he was looking at it like when y'all, when when Kyrie was going through his thing, y'all was uh -huh. asking everybody who was anybody in the black community what y'all think about. Why y'all asking me about that? Yeah. So the answer is because we live in a nation of hypocrisy okay. and a nation of arrogant. White supremacists who control, white supremacist elites who control every aspect of the world, that of course they're going to ask you about your brother <laughs> and try to get you to condemn your brother, and then they're not, then they're going to give Jerry Jones a pass. You just talked about the um, the NFL protest a few years ago. Exactly. When they were, when they, when, when, when Jerry Jones, America's team's owner, said, none of my players. Bet, bet, not. Yeah. B E T, bet. Not kneel. And no, kneeled. That's great. <laughs> they, 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 uh, they followed instructions. You know, so the answer to the question, man, is that America has always. And I don't even know how to, I don't even know how I'm going to say this. I don't even know how you're going <laughs> to feel when I say this. Let's go, let's go. I, I got to ask the question. Uh, uh, are they even wrong for the way they cover for each other? For the way that they don't code for each other? Now, we know they wrong for what they do, but am I tripping? It's like, because I would love to see black people on code like that. Be like, hey man, look, what you talking about? What? Huh? Mm -hmm. What? You know? And I know what y'all think about, man. No! Mm. In house, whatever go down, We'll figure out a way how to deal. If 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 one of us are in the wrong, yeah. bring him in the room. We'll figure yeah. out how to deal this in-house. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't want to just blast our brother. Even if he in the wrong, even if she in the wrong, let's figure out how to meet with the sister, meet with the brother, to yeah. square it out. And in the public, you're not gonna sway me and turn me against my people. Yeah. You're not gonna do it. Like parents, like a marriage. You know, we handle that, whatever does need to be handled, we handle that behind closed doors, but in front, we're a unified front. And, and that's just how it has to happen. Man, man. And it's so weird because nowadays, they'll take those tokens and they'll enlighten and excite most people just to go against you. And it's all your people. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, man. They just need one person to, to, to put up a point or something disparaging. And it seems like it just grows like fire. It's a formula, yeah. bro. It, it, see, you get on a good point. Like in a true, solid family structure. Yeah. It's it, both parents is in the house. Mm -hmm. Both and they on the same page. Yeah. That's Them right. parents gonna say, "Hey, we sitting at the dinner table right now. Yeah. Hey, say boy, don't talk about what happened in this house outside <laughs> this house. Mm -hmm. Don't go to school telling your little friends." What we talked about it in our what we do in our house, yeah. you know, uh, what, uh, what 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 happened? Um, how how did how did the neighbor know that our <laughs> lights was off? Yeah, you know, they, they not supposed the neighbor knocked on the door. Hey, um, y'all need anything? I I know y'all lights were turned up. How you know our lights were off? 
Mm -hmm. We ain't tell you that. You see but that on Facebook? For your son, you put it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did he get to charge the damn phone? <laughs> yeah, so, so that would, that's going to piss off any self-respecting parent. Exactly, exactly. Because like, hey man, look, don't do that. You know, and that got to be the mindset, man. Because this media shows us over and over again, just like this government shows us over and over again mm -hmm. that they are going to play by they set of rules. Yeah. And the set of rules that they play by, you can't play by them. Set of nah. I can't play by them. Y'all yeah. can't play by these rules. Nah. So you look, in their eyes, you look foolish to be sitting around on TV complaining about, well, why don't they do this? Why don't y'all do the same thing with that? Why yeah. don't y'all? And they sitting back like, because, nigga, yeah. this our stuff. What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. And check this out, man. The Underground Dialogue Podcast is offering advertising opportunities, man. You can promote your business. You can promote your video, your song, whatever it is that you have, man. Reach out to us if you're interested in promoting on the Underground Dialogue Podcast. All you got to do is email us at undergrounddialoguepodcast at gmail.com. Get it.